Hey guys, it's Alex the Salado. So I'm having fun with a Jaguar today. Let me show you what's going on here. I have a B11 DB87 battery monitoring system uh, code. And when the lady's driving, the battery light comes on the dash constantly. And she's worried, obviously, I can't blame her. And uh, I finally found the issue. It wasn't that complicated. I read about it a bit, and uh, but I didn't find any video or anything interesting about it. So I thought I'd take a few minutes and just show you what's going on. So let's get in the car. Fire the car up. And um, after a few minutes here, you're gonna see the red lights gonna start flashing in the dash. While we're here, we could. Uh, read the codes here in the rear junction box here. So you got this code here, B11DB87. And I was reading, some guy said something about broken loom in the trunk boot. And I noticed that this is the battery monitoring system. These are the two wires on top of the battery here. You got a red, uh, a, red a blue and orange wire. here right now so you got this blue and orange wall here I have a spare oh, on this one. Here. you got this blue and orange wire here and then you got this white wire and uh, those are basically the two wires for the EMS so yeah sorry I was interrupted so there's the two wires for the BMS and if you look at the wiring diagram here so you got the white wire and then you've got the blue orange wire that's coming from the positive terminal and it goes to the BMS and then the white wire comes here and goes into the rear junction box pin number two I'll show you after which connector it is but if you notice there's a splice here to the rear of your camera and when you look at the codes here I also have a communication code with the rear of your camera so that kind of rang a bell so here car's been running for a minute or two now and uh, you'll see the battery light comes on the dash now and it's running so I'll go ahead and shut it off now that I showed you and what happens is uh, so this is the wire on this pink plug here on the rear junction box the second wire from the right it's the white wire and it's weird because I was looked, I was uh, testing uh, continuity between the white wire at the connector to the BMS and it was fine. It was one ohm or something. It seemed totally fine. But um, anyways, like I said, I read about, I've been uh, looking at this for maybe an hour right now. And I, um, oh, anyways. Um, and I, uh, I read about this guy that was saying that there was a loom broken between the wire and his rear view camera was also not working. So I thought it was all related. So I made just a little jumper. I came, I spliced the white wire. I made a jumper directly to the box here. Because uh, before I cut everything up, it was fine. And when you go ahead and you connect this thing right here, because don't forget it's a hard code, eh? I mean, uh, you don't even have to cycle the key or anything, turn the key on, read the codes, try to clear the codes, it won't, just won't clear. So let me connect this wire back together, my little jumper, and I'll uh, do a permanent fix after. I'm gonna run the wire in the loom there. I'll put some butt connectors, make it nice, close everything up, and she'll be good to go. All right, guys. So I fix the wire. I have the butt connector there. BMS plug back in and if you the car's running right now and look the code went from permanent to intermittent now I could go ahead and clear it and the code's gonna be gone there you go man that's it and Let's see what's going on over here. Car running a bit. Let's close the door. Go 
it's open, we know that. We know that also. Just make sure this uh, alternator light is gone for good, no? I'm pretty sure I nailed it. It's now solved, hopefully. I don't see the light anymore. I think we're good, guys. So that's it, man. Before, uh, first thing you gotta do, maybe run a jumper wire between the BMS and the junction box in the back. Apparently the wire seems to fail often. And once, uh, once that's fixed, well, uh, if the code, uh, clear the code, cause this is a hard code, so you can't clear it. I mean, you turn the key off, turn the key back on, clear the code, it just stays on. There's no way to get rid of it until you fix the wire. So that's it, guys.